Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for round the 8th, but you know the timing is fluid, we're just going to see what comes up. We're going to start right here. Oh yeah, what do we have for an upcoming message? Healer of the ages. Now it looks like a god to me. Higher power healer. Um, it's time to get your life back on track. Um, there's some sort of healing coming in. Heart chakra. Um, Self-love. Being healed. Divine guidance of some sort. This is like healing. It is. I mean, the healer of the ages. It's healing. Going through a spiritual transformation of some sort. There's a higher power involved. That is helping you to heal through a situation. To get through a situation. What do we have for a message? Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is abundance. Wish fulfillment. Having it all. Being very comfortable. Set. We have somebody here that is all set. Very, very comfortable. So this is a this is a very I'm set. I'm all set. I got it all. I have it all. This is I have it all. You will have it all. It's an old age having it all being set. King of Wands reverse. King of Wands reverse. Now, this is an unreasonable, self-centered individual who is self-righteous and angry. Unwilling to compromise. <laughs> unreasonable. Ten of Swords and the Ace of Cups. So, the Ace of Cups is an is an outpouring of emotion, a flood of emotion, and then the Ten of Swords is an ending. It is. It's. It's. It is. It looks like a painful ending. We have a painful ending here. It's very painful. It's. It's messy. It is definitely messy. And it happened it looks like it's in a kitchen. So I'm not sure if there's some sort of happening. Okay, because this person gets upset and could you know, I'm not sure what is going on, but this is a higher power. Something could be ending. I don't know if there's a fight or something. Uh you know, sometimes things end in not the most positive way. Okay, this person may be reading. Now, I don't know whose message this is for, but this is sitting back and reading, and there could be some sort of, somebody could, uh, I don't know, have a heart attack. I don't know where that's coming from, um, but that's what I just heard. So, you, there's there could be something going on in the kitchen. <laughs> you know, this isn't Clue, but um, I don't know what is going on. Um, the Ace of Cups could be, you know, this is a sign of um, heaven. Okay, so I'm not sure what is going on here. I don't know where this message is coming from. But, you know, I think that there is an ending. Okay, there is an ending here. Um, there, now, this doesn't have to be going to heaven. This could be self-love. Okay, and healing. Heart chakra, that's self-love. So something to do with the heart. You see the heart area is illuminated, the chest area. So it's about following your heart. Following your heart out of a painful situation. This is the end of a struggle. Seriously, there's been obviously been some sort of struggle here. But it's the end of the struggle. Okay, so um, this is a fire being put out. Okay, um, I think there's, there's some sort of... Obviously, there's an incident with the Ten of Swords that ends... Um, ends... Uh, painfully okay that is definitely painful um but 
this painful ending uh, leads to love. Okay, because this is love, and this is an outpouring of love. This is an abundance of love, okay? And this is Nine of Cups. So somebody may have been wishing for a painful situation to end because, you know, because this is a wish being granted. So, you know, it's over. It's over. It's over. Your wish has been granted. Now, now this could be self-love, a newfound opportunity for love. This is, I mean, usually with the Ace of Cups, the hand of God is is handing you that cup of love. So, you know, there is a, there's a big opportunity for love here. The Ace of Cups, a new beginning in love. This is a new beginning in love because ones are new beginnings. So after a significant death, okay, now that, that is a death. That is a death. And a lot of people don't want to, they want to skirt around the truth, but that is a death. After a painful death of a situation, it doesn't have to be a person. Okay, this is the death of a situation. There's an abundance of love coming, an outpouring of emotion. Okay, now when you see roses, this looks like roses. Roses are a symbol of romance. Okay, romance or, you know, love. Okay, romance is in the air. Okay, so there's an opportunity for new love after a significant death that ended very badly or a relationship or whatever it is. Somebody may have been dealing with a narcissist or somebody that was a tyrant. This person was mean. This person was self-centered. They, they were unreasonable. They've been waiting, you know, and working on themselves or whatever, just sitting back and reading, doing whatever it is that they do and... You know, there's an opportunity of love here. Now, maybe this higher power is bringing this opportunity in, okay? It's definitely going to be very emotional because the Ace of Cups is emotional. It's very, very, very emotional. Um, now, the King of King of Wands in reversed is um, something, you know, impulsive. This Somebody may have done something impulsively. Um king of swords made a decision somebody has made a decision made up his mind knows what he wants has thought about it is ready not interested in being practical has really thought about it somebody has thought about something they've thought about what have they thought about death they've thought about death this is death they've thought about letting go They've thought about uh, what death is, mortality. It's funny that I brought up death in the very beginning. So we have somebody here that's been thinking about an ending. This is an ending and this is an ending. They've thought about something that has ended badly. They've been thinking about it a lot. They've also been thinking about profound change. There could be an accident. There could even be an accidental something that happens in the kitchen. And no, this isn't Clue. But something could happen in the kitchen. It's an, a it's an accident. Okay. Um, but there has been a delay. There's been a delay. Somebody has been held back by fear. Okay. So this could have even been a near death experience where somebody felt, you know, like they nearly died in the last situation. You know what I mean? It was a near death experience when you get death reversed. But this person um, has made up his mind to, with a death reversed, he's been holding on, holding on, holding back because of fear. He's been indecisive, but holding back is getting old. So there could definitely be an incident that causes a profound change. It causes this person to make a decision. Okay? So there's a decision that is being made because the King of Swords is makes a decision and sticks to it. Here we have the delay being indecisive. Now, but then there could have been an impulsive situation where, all, you know, he'd been thinking about it and now is the time. Okay, it's like, now is the time. This person is just sitting back waiting, waiting, um, waiting for the decision to be made. The moon. All is not as it seems. Something is about to be revealed. Somebody isn't telling the whole truth. I don't know. It could be dealing with a Pisces. could be dealing with a Scorpio. It doesn't matter. Um, somebody isn't telling the whole truth. All is not as it seems. There's something below the surface that is about to be shown. There's definitely some fear and there's some illusion. 
There's some illusion here. And fear. Fear, for sure. There's definitely fear. Somebody has been held back by fear. By fear of the unknown. They've been held back by fear of the unknown. But they could... It feels like they could collapse or something. I don't know where that's coming from. Um, nine of Swords. Very... This is fear. Nine of Swords. This is anxious. Worried. Uh, despair, uh, can't sleep, having a lot of regrets. We have somebody here that has a lot of regrets, maybe even feeling guilty. Uh, this is too much. I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. Very worried. We have somebody here that is very, very worried, anxious, scared, fearful. Um, having a very, very hard time sleeping, uh, tossing and turning, sitting up in bed, getting out of bed, getting back into bed. Um, it has to do with their relationship. Worried about a relationship. Worried about love. Worried about where to live. Worried about where to go. Worried about who to live with. Something about the living circumstances. But this is the end. Tens are completions. This, they are. So we have a completion. The end. Something is changing in a relationship. It is definitely changing. There's been a delay, but I feel like the delay is over. I think it's sudden. There's going to be a sudden change. We would definitely have a new beginning here. There's an opportunity for a new relationship. There is. But the only way to get into that new relationship is to end the suffering that somebody has been holding on to. Somebody has been suffering. They have. They've been really worried about getting into another relationship. Worried about falling in love, perhaps. Or worried about, will they be accepted? Or will they be good enough? Or whatever the case is. This person has it all. Very abundant. The Nine of Cups is abundant. Extremely abundant. Comfortable. I think this is a very wise individual, Individual, you know, it's the age. Wisdom comes with age. So we have a very wise individual here. This person seems to be just waiting, just waiting for this incident to happen. Just waiting for uh, what she knows, because this is very intuitive. This person is just waiting for uh, this to happen. Just waiting for this to happen. Just waiting for the truth. Just waiting for this to come up. Just waiting for... Uh, this to be shown or to come up. It is going to come up because the moon, something is going to come up. Something that has been hidden is going to come up. Something is about to be revealed. There's going to be a change. There's been a delay, but the delay is over. It's over. There's too much stress. Stress kills. Stress kills. Stress kills. So somebody's stress is, is literally killing them. Okay? So anyway, that's just for somebody, not for everybody. But anyway, we do have a new opportunity for a new beginning here, a new, uh, a new relationship. But we also have somebody that is very, very, very worried. Very worried about, you know, can they trust? Am I going to get stabbed in the back again? Am I going to get hurt again? Am I going to be betrayed again? So we... Definitely have somebody here that is very worried about um, getting in this relationship or be, because of fear of getting hurt. So that's for somebody else. But there is an opportunity for a new relationship that could uh, bring a lot of peace and it could bring a lot of happiness. But there's definitely some fear. Um, hmm. Ten of coins. There's going to be a change in the home. So, so this is about home, family, happiness, relationships. There's, there, but we have a lot of tens here. And all three of them are upright. One, two, three. Completion, completion, completion. Completion, completion, completion. So we have a completion here. So we have something that is completing within the family. Could be a, a change in the family. Uh, what is it? Hierarchy? Uh, legacy. There could be a change in the family legacy. There could be a change in the home. Somebody could be moving in. Somebody could be moving out. There could be, um, well, with the Ten of Coins, there could be, you know, permanency. It's, it's, it's a permanent change. Um, 
starting a family, uh, starting a new legacy, moving in together, um, a new love blossoming, a new relationship blossom, commitment, commitment. Somebody is, is getting into some sort of new commitment or something. This guy has been investigating. He's been thinking about it. He's been, or he's been thinking about something. He's been thinking, very worried. I think both of these people are worried. I think we have somebody here that is definitely fearful because there's fear here. Fear of commitment. Fear of... Not being accepted is a big one as well. We do have a completion, a change in the family unit. We do. It's going to be a change on the home front. Change, home front. I'm telling you what, there's going to be change on the home front. I don't care what anybody says. I'm positive. There's a change. There's change. On the home front. So, there's going to be a change on the home front. Either somebody's moving in, somebody's moving out, somebody's leaving, somebody could be, I'm, I, I don't want to scare anybody, but somebody could be passing away. That will certainly change your home front. So, um, I'm not saying that's going to happen, but um, I don't know. Expect the unexpected with the moon card. Okay, expect the unexpected. Six of Wands reversed. Now, there could be a fight. There could be a fight. There could be a battle. There could, because the Six of Wands upright is done with a battle. But here's a fight, a fight that causes this, a fight that causes this, change get ready to hear a, a message okay this is a message of love from an admirer who is going to express their feelings somebody is going to be following their heart and trusting their gut And this is what is going to bring this profound change. So be prepared. You're probably going to hear some sort of loving words from somebody that, I don't know, maybe they want to be in a relationship or they want a new relationship or they love you. Could be I love you. Could be. Um... Queen of Coins. Look at that. I just cut it to the Queen of Coins. This is somebody who is very abundant, solid, stable, secure. She has it all. Look at her. She's just glowing. Very stable, very solid, very happy. So this Queen of Pentacles has nothing to worry about. She's just happy. Looks like she's getting what she wants. We've got the roses, so there's romance in the air here. We have this stable, solid individual who has a lot to offer. Maybe she's even getting flowers. I don't know. But she's very abundant. She's very fertile. She's a hard worker. She's abundant. She's loyal. She's true. She's valuable. She knows her value. She's, she's offering, too. You notice she's offering. Looks like she's throwing money. <laughs> that's what she does she throws money <laughs> yeah. anyhow um, yeah so this is rich I mean that queen of pentacles appears to, appears to have lots of money okay so somebody may be falling in love with the queen of pentacles that has lots of money I don't know if that's the case um, but does a, and the queen of pentacles can be any sign um, but I think there is somebody that 
is struggling at home. They're having a hard time getting out of it. But there's going to be a change. There is going to be a change. Be, expect the unexpected with this moon card. Something is about to happen. There's going to be an incident that uh, changes the changes the home situation. Good luck. God is involved. 